What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMartech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the OR instruction, so let's get started. Now the OR instruction performs a boolean OR operation between each pair of matching bits in two operands and places the result in a destination operand. So let me give you guys an example of that right now. Now here, this is a syntax of a OR operation, it's similar to AND, but that's as far as the similarities go. Now we start off by typing OR, hit space. Then we type in our destination operand. Then use a comma afterwards. Then we hit space and then we type in our source operand. So that's the syntax of a OR instruction. Now let's go down here and this is the different combinations of the OR instruction. We can OR a register into a register. We can OR memory into a register. We can OR immediate value into a register. We can OR a register into memory. Or we can OR immediate value into memory. The one thing you guys have to make sure you do is make sure both operands are the same size. Both operands either have to be 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit, or whatever. So they can't be different sizes. They must be the same size. Very important. Down here, I'm going to give you an example of how the OR operation actually works. This is where the OR operation becomes completely different from the AND. The only similarity is when uh, you have two zero bits. If you have two zero bits, then the result is a one, right? If you have here a zero and a one, the result is always going to be a 1. If you have a 1 and a 0, the result will be a 1. If you have two 1s, the result will be a 1. Now, the result will always be a 1 as long as there's a 1. Otherwise, if there are two zeros, that's the only case when you'll ever get a 0. All right, so that's how this works. And this actually, this is an AND symbol. The OR symbol is inverted. I don't know how to get that inverted symbol there, but it's, it's the opposite way of uh, the AND. So let's just type in OR. So, okay, now let's open up MU8086, right? Now I'll have MU8086 here. Now let me give you a demonstration of how the OR operation works. Let's first start off by moving some values, and we're going to use 8-bit values here, and we're going to use 8-bit registers. So um, let's move into AH, because AH is an 8-bit register, and let's move a Boolean value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 0. We know this is a Boolean value. And after you type in a Boolean value, you have to make sure you type in a B because that, that'll let the program know that this is a Boolean value. Now we know this is a four, right? This is Boolean four. Now let's move into BH, another, a Boolean value. So BH, let's type in one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, right? And then we have to make sure we type in B. We know this is a three, right? So now let's OR this. OR is our instruction, right? Hit space. We have to type in a destination operand. I'm gonna use AH as our destination operand. Use a comma, hit space again. Now we have to type in our source operand, which is BH, right? And let's hit emulate. All right, the first step here is highlighted. Move into AH this Boolean value, which is four. So once I hit next step or a single step, AH should have a value of four. Let's hit single step. Now, as you can see over here, AH has now a value of four. Now it's highlighting our second step here. Our second step is move into BH, this Boolean value, which is a Boolean value of three. So let's hit single step. Now, as you can see over here, BH has now a value of three. Now it's highlighting the OR instruction. Now, once I hit single step, the results of AH, which is the destination upper, and it should be a seven, right? So let's hit single step. And as you can see now, AH has a value of seven. And I'm gonna write the result underneath this here. So it's zero, 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 one, 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 right? We know that's the result. That's a binary uh, value of seven, right? All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossBartech.com, and thanks for watching.